up everybody it is Tuesday morning I think I want to say 640 we're back at it with a roofing video I'm going ahead and taking the permits over to Carlsbad Oceanside giving the inspectors a call see what time they're getting there um, I'm letting the truck warm up a little bit it's a little frosty but it's all good and then we'll get after it hope you guys enjoy this video um if you're new like subscribe whatever you want but yeah let's get after it let's get it done guys i'm low-key hyped to get back into roofing i know it's nothing like i'm gonna be working but i gotta drop off the permits go talk to my pinchy compas otra vez and just have a good time you know it's been a minute it's been like since january that i haven't really seen them i've seen them you know when they come by and get their checks and stuff but other than that i haven't seen these guys in a while it's gonna be it's gonna feel it's gonna feel good to see them again talk to talk to them again and kind of go back to old times you know what i mean and hopefully here soon in the next three months um, you know, I'm back at it again and creating these roofing videos and kind of taking you guys along for the day-to-day -day process all over again. Um, I got, you know, I'm just excited. I'm pumped. I'm ready to roll. Um, I feel like I can work, but clearly I can't. I'm still too weak to even, even do all that type of stuff. And, you know, I can feel it, but it is what it is. You know, we're going to keep pushing keep moving and yeah hope you guys are having a great morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this video and i'll try to get some footage of the roof when i get there if it's safe and then yeah so let's let, let, let's get after it and let's keep going i'm hyped let's get it i don't know if you guys can see that but this is what we call a tile stack or lift and relay um, so what you do is you take off the tile, um, the old tile, stack it on the top, remove the felt, and then what you do is you come back with 40 pound felt, doubled layer, so it goes half a roll at the bottom, the first layer, and then you put another full roll on top of that, and then every roll after that is half the felt roll. And I don't mean you cut the felt roll in half, you use the full roll, but on the 40 pound felt, there's lines, there's yellow lines. And at the middle, there's two yellow lines. Use the bottom middle yellow line. So it covers half of each roll going up. So it's considered double layered felt because every piece you put down has two layers of felt on it. Um, this is lightweight tile because it has the white marker on the top of it. So it's lightweight, flat, it's probably eagle. Yeah, it is eagle. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what they do. They're gonna lift, relay it. I just dropped off the permit. So they take off all the felt, change all the wood, and then the inspector comes out to make sure all the wood is good, passes it, and then well, he also checks nails for nail inspection. Does that as well, make sure the nails are six inches on the outside of the plywood and 12 inches on the inside. Um, that's just how we have to do it here in California. Um, it's pre-nail and then final, so he, he'll go ahead and do that, pass it, and then we'll start putting the felt. And then once everything's halfway done, he comes back out. I think that's this one is halfway done. Comes back out, inspects it again, gives us okay. And then after it's completely done, mud, painted, everything for final, he'll come out. But he won't walk it because this is lightweight. More than likely, most inspectors don't know how to walk on lightweight. Even a lot of people in the roofing industry will break lightweight tile. We have a little guy that'll walk it with him. Um, but other than that, he'll come look at it, say, okay, you're all good, and sign it, and good to go, and then we get that check, and that's much about it. But yeah, that's what they're doing here in Carlsbad. I got to shoot to Oceanside. The Oceanside one on this permit is, I believe, I want to say shingle roof. Um, yeah, asphalt shingle owns corning. But yeah, it's right on the beach. So we'll go ahead and drop that off and we'll see how that one goes. All right, let's check this out. We're here in Oceanside. Um, it is this one right here. 
and then that one right there and then there's a two-story right there in the back um so what happened was it was originally just a shingle roof but when they tore it off there's a shake roof below it. and what wood shakes are it was done back in the days um now you can't do it because it's a fire hazard in california um yeah we're by the beach but still once the wood shakes catch fire pretty much done um but it's pieces of wood that are there's three types there's type one type two and type three type one now don't don't quote me on this i could be a little wrong but type one is the skinny ones they're about one to three inches long and you lay them in a pattern and it's skip sheeting there's one by threes or one by fours however they did it under it um but you put it exactly right next to each other in a scattered pattern and then so nothing's really stays the same so it's all mixed and then type two is i believe the thicker version of the wood shakes they're about five to ten inches um and you lay up the same way and then type three is the asbestos kind it's looks like tile but it's just wood shakes uh they're not considered wood shakes it's asbestos so it's kind of like it's called a shake roof it's like tile wood shakes um you rarely ever get those but when you do get those uh you have to wear a mask even with these you have to wear a mask when you're tearing off um you tear it all off you go back and put the plywood um flatten all the nails on the wood shakes i have a video on this. so what i was saying was my battery died on my gopro what i was saying was uh they have to nail all the or hammer or get a shovel and hit all the nails down I have a video from a while ago that's on the channel that where we do a wood shake roof here in Carlsbad. Um, it's the same process, same everything. You gotta tear it off, go back with plywood, make sure it's on the rafters. And then again, you have to get a permit inspection. You have to get an inspection on it for nailing six inches on the perimeter and inside the plywood, it is 12 inches. And that that's with everything um and then if there is overlap to where it goes up on the top of the four foot of the plywood because it's a big rectangle it's four by eight so the lengthwise the eight feet if it skips in the middle of the skip sheeting and you nail it down and it makes the plywood go like this you have to put a one by one in there so that it kind of stays flat um now this does have i believe tongue and groove at the bottom so what they have to do in order to make it flush is the one at the bottom has to go like that or they go all the way to the edge. Um, now, if you go all the edge, you got to make sure that the drip metal, normally drip metal is two by two, but if it goes all the way, if you put the plywood all the way to the edge, you got to remember it's like a seven eighths bigger. So you got to account that for the starter board or common board and the plywood so your better bet is probably going three by three drip metal um you might be able to get away with two by two but or you can go two by three which means three three on the face and then two inches on the top um but we'll probably just go three by three to be safe um but yeah and then you go ahead and put your felt and all that stuff we'll probably put the titanium or the sorry the owens corning um synthetic felt on it um, I think they want the warranty uh, But yeah, so that's what the whole process this one has a shingle roof below the shingle roof is a shake roof Back in the days they were able to put the shake roof and then put the shingle roof on top of it Now you can't do that everything has to come off put plywood and then you put a brand new shingle roof on it Owens Corning Yeah um, But yeah, so they're gonna be on here. I think it's about 60 squares So they'll be here for for quite a while. I want to say maybe a week um, probably less to be quite honest um, they move pretty quick um, and then they're off to the next one the other crew is gonna get inspection today I have one more at nine o'clock to go to Valley Center to go walk a finished job um, with the guy and one of our guys to make sure everything was done perfect which I know it was done perfectly but yeah it's part of the job um, so this is what I used to do back in the days to be foreman and go check out all these roofs and work not as much but i used to work um but yeah so hope you guys enjoy and let's get after it
All right, so check it out. We're here back in Carlsbad. I dropped off the permit in the morning. So this is not lightweight. It's just where they put it on. It just didn't get dirty. So it's standard flat. But yeah, so they tore it off. This side, this side, the front side. We gotta go ahead and change starter board here. Um, starter board there. Plywood there. Like you see, they took it off because they're gonna replace some of the fascia board on this side as well. Cross this way. See how bad it is. Even the, the starter board here is bad. Rafters. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and the facial board along this side. Facial board right there, already taken off. Rafters have to go and pass that. But yeah, so we have to finish that. No inspection today. Um, it's just too much work for them to finish in one day. Um, a lot of rafters, a lot of fascia, a lot of starter board and plywood. But in order to, for them to put felt on anything, all this wood, so all the plywood, starter board, and fascia has to be done and nailed so he can do pre-nail inspection. So what that means everything has to be nailed perfectly in order for him to pass it. Um, and then they have to paint the fascia board in the front. So that's what they're doing right now. So it's done. We don't have to do it later. And yeah, but they already tore this off. I think it started yesterday. And had a little bit to do today which was i think the garage but they already finished that but yeah pretty much about it so i'm gonna head to valley center and just keep going all right guys so went to valley center walked the roof with the customer um he approved it got the check went back home dropped it off ate some lunch um got the cash for one of the guys for the crew dropped it off for him here in Oceanside and we're at the beach I parked right here um, yeah I kind of finish off this video I know there wasn't much context but hey you know it's a first day back and I don't know how many months of doing this again so I'm excited uh, I'm stoked to bring you more videos like this and hopefully I can get back to work sooner than later um but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video have a great rest of your day evening morning stay safe and peace everybody